you should already know the areas of your life that you might struggle with. Or even if you don't struggle with them, you know what, what sin is. You know what the Bible says about many, many different things. So I'm going to start giving you some examples of how you might be able to make provision for your flesh. And I'll start with a very easy one. Getting drunk. Getting drunk is a sin in the Bible. Very clear, very evident. It's something that no Christian should ever do. Not just getting drunk. But even just drinking alcohol, I believe, is a sin. I'm not going to get into all that today, but here's my point. You say, well, I want to make sure I don't drink alcohol as a Christian. Well, then you need to control your environment and make sure you're not going to be allowing for the opportunity to even arise to have that temptation. So that way, if you're in a weak point, if you're having a hard time with your flesh, you're going to be way less likely to, to get drunk. To allow yourself to even do that by controlling your environment. So, how can you control your environment? One, make sure you don't have any booze or any liquor in the house, right at home. That's a very good first step. If it's not even there to consume, how are you going to get drunk? But there's many other ways. Number two, you got friends, you got buddies, and they're, going, they're all going to go out to a bar somewhere. You can say, yeah, but I don't drink. Yeah, but you're putting yourself in a situation if you're going to be surrounded by a bunch of people Oh, hey, let's do a shot. Let's get around or whatever. Hey, you never have a drink. Why don't you have a drink? You're putting yourself in a situation for someone to maybe convince you to get involved with what they're doing. Don't put yourself in that situation. Don't go out to the bar. Don't put yourself in these environments where it's going to be very a lot easier for you to slip and fall and make that provision for the flesh. That's just one example. How about, you know, committing fornication or adultery? You might not even have it in your heart to look on other women or other men. And praise God, I hope you don't. But we need to be able to control our environment to make sure that something like that is never going to happen. That's why I personally have rules in place that you won't see me traveling in a vehicle like alone with someone of the opposite gender unless it's like my mother. <laughs> Right? Or someone that's family like that where obviously there's no reason to be concerned. But even though I have no intention, I have no reason to think on other women. I love my wife. I don't ever, you know, I'm not thinking about doing anything. But I'm going to make sure that there's not going to be times for me to start get it, building relationships even and being close to someone of, an opposite, of the opposite gender to, to even have that become a thought to begin with. Because I don't want to make provision. Because the flesh is wicked. And the flesh is going to drive you to sin. And we need to be aware of that and understand that nobody is above sin. Nobody has arrived to the point of where I'm just so hyper-spiritual, there's no way I could ever do anything like that. The Bible gives us plenty of examples of great men of God that have done great things, have been used mightily, and lived probably great lives, but still fell, still succumbed to sin. And we need to take heed lest we fall. And the way we take heed is by making sure that we're not going to make provision for our flesh. Don't put yourself in those environments. Don't go to the websites that are going to have the, 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 the bad images put in front of your eyes. Don't watch the TV that's going to be putting the wicked imagery in front of your eyes. Don't, don't allow that. Don't even put yourself in a situation. Take control and make sure you do not make provision for your flesh. Maintain the discipline and the temperance that you need to be able to run the race and not have to worry about these, these, the sin, the weight of sin that doth so easily beset us. To, to, to cause you to stumble and fall.